All right, Steve, Wednesday review, um, 2nd of September, 2020, and you're gonna review the stoplight sheet. You're good to go. Okay. All right, stoplight sheet. First, why do I have this? Well, I worked at a school in Denver for 30 some years, and our elementary program worked the board and uh, very successfully. But the, then we had junior high and high school kids who also need the program and thought the board was for little kids. And so we're hesitant to get involved. So I developed it with that in mind, but I also developed it for kids who had had the board a while, but still needed the program and were kind of bored with the board. And so this was a follow-up. So it was two particular reasons. To be quite frank, a lot with the older kids, I often still do the board. And then I may shift to this later on. I have two kids I've worked with quite a while that I'm shifting like a year, I'm shifting to this. Um, but this can be done with a high school kid or a junior high kid who's in a good solid start for and at concept tracking. Schedule's the same. So you're gonna start with saying sounds, okay? So notice that we have the consonants at the bottom. We have the vowels next, then we have the R family, then we have the diphthongs, the green, yellows, and reds. Now, rather than the Big Dipper, I'm using a stoplight sheet for green, yellows, and reds. Green is go, yellow is caution, red is stop. Now, why is the stoplight sheet up top and the vowels up top? Because if I had it at the bottom, I'd have to put the stoplight sheet upside down, green, yellow, and red, which didn't make any sense. So that's why it's up top. So we work from bottom to top. But otherwise, it's the same program. So uh, let's, uh, Randy, the wonderfulness of yourself, uh, you're doing pretty well. So I want you to take off mute and I'm going to give you control of my board. There Can we you go. center your video on yourself, Randy, please? Uh, do what? Center your video a little bit more. Center my video. Oh, your my camera. face. I can't, I can't see any of it. So I don't know where I am. Down a little bit. Perfect, right there. Okay, I got a new camera. Oh, gosh. Okay, Randy, now I've given you remote control. Do you see that? Okay, yep. You can take it. Now click on the board. Remember that this is the I key did. thing with when kids have remote control. They have to click on the board to make it work. And if you move it like I'm going to do now, Randy can't move it unless she clicks on the board. So I got to let it go and now she takes over. Okay. I did Let's click. start with the consonants, Randy, and I'm going to say the sounds you echo and point. Okay, ready? Rrr. Oh, I'm echoing and pointing? Oh, yeah. I thought you, okay, sorry. Okay. I'm following the lesson plan exactly Rrr. like it. Rrr. Again, Rrr. 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 And the other, and? Rrr. Okay. Mm. Mm. Qua. Qua. Got to find it. Good. All. All. And. All. Good. I'm guessing. Okay. And. By the way, the hand movements really help on Zoom. Right, because okay, I job. heard let's, tea. Yeah. Let's move up. Yeah. Yeah. Eh. 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 Uh. Uh. Ah. Uh. Eh. Eh. Keep in mind, I always do the vowels in order first to boot up the right CD, which I'm going to have to change that to something else. Ah. <laughs> eh. Ah. Eh. Uh. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Good. I. I. Then the next, go to the next red. After the oh. I, what's next? Oh, I consonant E. And up here, it's a? A Y, I. I follow the colors. Now, okay. A. Ready? A. a is A. A, A consonant E. 
and an A I and A Y. Yeah, well, A Y first. We always do the a, best first, and then A I. A A I. Okay. U. I'll do U. U. U consonant E and E W are the best. Now, if I want to give the rest, I just go down and I follow the lights. So I go down here, U U, and that's it for you. Let me show you another one. O is O O consonant E. O W are the best. If I want to find the rest, I follow the lights, which is O A and O E, and that's it. There's no more O's. Okay. With U, there's more though. There's U U constant E. I didn't do them all, by the way. There's U E U I. There's nothing here, but there's E U U E W. So you follow the colors. You follow the color for the red. Then you follow the stop sheet for the rest. This is really cool for the long vowels. Okay. All right, let's go to the R family. Er. Er. Got to click on the board. Oh, sorry. Er. 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 R. R. Or. Or. Oi. 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 Sorry, ow. wrong way. Ow. Ow. Aw. 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 Ooh. Uh. Ooh. Uh. All right, now. now Whenever we do the lights, since they're not the best, these are the best for spelling that we did. These are going to be the rest. So I have to tell you the light I want you to work with. We're going to do some greens. Point to the O's. O, O. Good. Point to the U's. U, U. We're going to do some yellows. Point to the one that says E and E. E, E. Point to the one that says O and O. Now that's a tough one. O, O. Good. How about O and O? O, O. How about E I E? E I E. Let's go to the reds. Point to the two that can say E and A. E and A. Okay. Uh, actually, that does this say one, A, and this does say E and A. a. There you go. There's now three the one of them. Just, the one that just says A. Okay. Which one only says A? Think of the word eight. This one. Yeah, it's a. the only thing it says is A. Point to the two that say you. You, you. And E and I. E and I. All right. I want you to point to the ending that says shun. Oh, um, it's really point tiny. Point. It's very tiny on here. Right, it is. Um, okay, we can actually do this. Enlarge, but then it's going to be off. Yeah, I can get it on. Okay. All righty. Point to shun. Here's shun. I have to Good. click again. Point to tiv. Tiv. Siv. Siv. Idge. Looking. Right I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm looking, I'm looking. Right below siv, idge. Oh, that's idge? Okay. And manage your carriage. Okay. Uh, point to the two that say uns. Uns. Appearance. I'm looking. Experience. Okay, uns. There's one. There's another one. And uns. Good. All right. Point to the prefix. That means again. Again is re. How about all the prefixes that mean not? Um, un, dis, non. You skipped one. All these eyes, N, M, L, R, they mean like irregular. Oh, okay. N, M, L, R, sorry. You normally wouldn't do all that, but that shows you what you can do for spelling, okay? Now I'm going to move to reading, and you're just going to read these. Are you ready? What's this say? Good. And Wait. this? Okay. Mm. Hold on a second. I got to see if my son took his meds. Okay, good for you. <laughs> All right. I think he said he did. But okay, I'm ready. Back. Down here. Qu. Short sound. E. A. E. R. Er. 
o a o a au a a e au or o au u e a and three words great steak break and we never say a ever I guarantee you, if you say A, you'll regret it, because I'll always say A first. You will regret it. What's this? E, E, I. That's the second one. E, E, I, E. Yeah, E at the end of longer words, I at the end of sh short, E in the middle. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Okay. They can say ooh, but we don't teach or them. You, teach you. Them. Sorry, you, yeah. you. Right. And for spelling, we give the... Uh, spelling pronunciation. So if the word was, uh, let's say, uh, few, flu, we'd say flu looks like full you. Okay. okay. All right. Good enough on that. What's this say down here in the ending? Tiv. Okay. How about this? Siv. All right. How prefect? It's, what's it's very say? tiny. Yeah, I know. Okay. Dis. Good enough. Good enough on that. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, so we did um, the mouth, spelling sounds, we did point, just like the regular plan, right? We're now at new concept, okay? So I could use this just like I use the board. Let's say I wanted to review the best and rest. And I, wanted, I just taught long U. I might say, okay, we know that U is like all the long vowels. What kind of syllable? Randy, do you think we use you in, open or close? Open. Open, yeah. Like you, net, corn, or you, net. Good. Now, when do we add knee? When there's a consonant. Right. Like the word cube. Now, I don't want to add knee. I don't hear an E, so I'm going to spell it C U B. What's wrong with that? C U B makes it makes it be a closed syllable, and it would be a short U sound. And there's a girl, I think, who's really. Cute. Cute. I don't add an E. I write her a letter. Hey, you're really what? Cut. Cut. That might be insulting. So you got to add that E. Okay. So we got you counting. Now the end always has a what? A Y, a tail. A tail, yeah. So all notice right. it fits the same pattern as all of them. Open, we use the vowel. Constant sound, we add an E. And end has a tail. Now let's go back through the colors to find out the rest. Are there any U's on the green? Yes. What do we have? The U E and U I. Good. Are there any in the yellows? No. How about the reds? Besides yes. The what do we have? E U and E W. E W is the best, so the rest would be right. E U. All right. So let's give the best and the rest. Are you ready? U. Yes. What is it? U. U consonant E. E U E W. No, just E W are the best. Are the best. And let's go. And U E U I E U are the rest. Good job. Rest. Okay, we're now at spelling of syllables. Okay. Okay. I want you to take control if you don't still have it. I have to click. Okay. Um. It's not letting me, it's not letting me do that. Let's see. Oh, let me give it to you. Okay. I, I guess I took it away from you. Good. Okay, now I got it. Okay. All right. I want you to write the syllable bay. Not the word bay, the syllable. You can just draw it. So you can hit draw. What syllable? Bay. No. Open syllable bay. Bay. Great. Good job. Now make that bad. Good. Now make it bayed. Good. All right. Now let's take the eraser and erase the A. I don't know if I have all that. You have it should have a little eraser above. I don't know. I don't have like the. You don't have this. Well, let me see. 
I got rid of it. Okay. Make it bowed. Make it bowed. Right, I got it. Um, it's an eraser mode still. Okay. Is it easier to do in a typing screen? Well, it can be. This can be easy too if we can get you to erase. Can you go to bowed? I'm on bowed, but I'm in eraser okay. mode. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Okay. It's we still erase the mode. Randy, do you know how to turn on your annotations? I have to turn oh, on. I, it's not coming up the screen. Okay. You, if, you, if your screen is in full screen, you, not, you need to make it smaller so you can see your tools. What are the okay. options at the top? Um, wait, hold on. Say that again. If my screen is. Your screen's in full screen, so it's taking up your whole computer. You need to reduce it so you can get to. You can see some of your tools and it'll say view options at the top typically. I have view options. I'll tell you what. Let's, let's so I'm gonna to go to you so you can show it and I'll have you okay, take sure. over. So let's go to give up remote control keyboard. Go ahead, give that up. Annotate. I see. Okay, so I found it. I found it. I found it. I found it. <laughs> All right. So put an O in there. Okay, put an O in there. Good. All right. Now uh, that's bowed. Now make it bod. So you want to go to the eraser and just hold the eraser over the E. <laughs> that's going to get rid of that. <laughs> See what I did? I hit yeah. eraser and clicked yeah. on it and disappeared. I got it. Okay. Uh, now that may work in typing. So let's try that. I like, I like the idea of just making letters disappear. Okay, so let me try a text box. Okay, let's see if that works with the text box. Make it big though, I want your print big. See, kids like this a lot. I, I use Notability at our school for this. Yeah. Which is real easy, but you may not have enough Notability, so you can use this. Yeah. All right. So, text box. All right. Okay. All right, now you're doing the tech, we're, we're competing here. Yeah, we want to make it bigger. Hold okay, on. but I think. Go to format under the color button where it's red or whatever color you're using. Go to format, click that button. It'll give you a drop down. And format. Uh, like font. And the font. Yeah, and change the number. Yeah. Okay, to what number would be good? 20. Make it 20. Okay, well, it's on 24, so. Yeah, All right, make it 30. Like 48, 50. Okay. All right, ready? 48, okay, yes. All right, write the syllable tro, looks like taro. You see it? No, did you click oh, on the I did, I wrote T-R-O-W, but you didn't see it. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's get rid of your text box and let me use my text box. Sure, that sounds good. So you erase. If you okay. if you type something, they won't see it until you click off of your text box. Then it'll pop up on the teacher's side. So student types, click on the white box, it'll pop up for the teacher. Okay. So we want to type. She writes it and then she clicks on the box? Yeah, she just needs to click away from the box, basically, away so it's not okay. highlighted. All right, you have tro. Uh, make it trop. Okay. But I'm in my own text box. Okay, oh, there we go. All right. Now let's make that trope. Just okay. add me. See, and that does, yeah, you know, I don't know. Do that. Let's see. It doesn't just do it. I think right. what you need to do, Steve, is give her control of your typing because I found that the, the student can, they can't correct the teacher. Right. The whole so school. I think, Melissa, I'm going to have you guide us on this. <laughs> so we're going to erase. No problem. Yeah, so you clear it. Okay, now, Steve, don't make a text box. Let me make a text box. Okay. Is that what you're saying? Is well, it? because he's the host, the host has more control. So if he gives you remote control of his text box, you'll be able to do it. But okay. otherwise, that's the only way to do it. Okay. Uh, so I need to make a text box and then give her remote control. Either way, so long as you have remote, if she, so long as you have remote control and she can use it, make the text box. You create the text box with I the. Thought text that's box. what I did. Yeah, that is what he did. Yeah, 
All right, Melissa, let me, let me try you for a minute because okay. you've done this. Okay. Go ahead, take control. Again, I usually use this with notability, but if we can figure this out, kids love it where all they have to do is change a letter. They just love it. Control, Steve, because I'm not, for some reason, able to. There you got it. You have control. You got it? Okay. I think I also have it. All right. All right. So you want me to spell what? Tro? Well, yeah, spell tro. Okay. We don't see it. No. Do you have control of my board, Melissa? Oh, there we I see. I don't think I do. I, I think, I don't think I, I don't, I, I mean, I, I can type on the board, but. I see the arrow now. Let me do this because I clicked on annotate when you asked me. Sorry about that. All right. Okay, make it tro. I can't see your word. Hmm. There is no okay. word. Let me make a text box and see if that helps. Okay. Now make it tro. We don't see anything. Just a text box. Okay. Can you type tro? Okay, that's me. It's just a delay, it looks like. All right. Okay. Good. All right, next to it, make it trop. Okay, now make it trope. This is what we're gonna have to do. Yeah. Um, okay, hold on. Oh, okay, wait a minute. So it's like if the, if the text box is open on the teachers, the, the host, then you, they can manipulate it in there if they're under your remote control. But okay. when they type a word on their own annotation, they can't change it. All right, so if I make the text box and you have remote control, you can do it. Yes. Right? Okay, good. All right, there's the text box. I want you to make the word fray using the best bet at the end. Fray. Good. All right, is EY your best bet for A at the end of a word? Uh, no. Okay. There you go. All right, now take that word fray and I want you to make it freight. Okay, is E-I-G-H your best bet for A when you hear a consonant after it? Okay, let's pause for a moment. This is what I do with a kid. I go to the stoplight sheet. I boot it back up and I'd say, let's look at the best bets for A. In an open syllable, we use an A. If there's a consonant like freight, we add an E. Okay, uh, you know, that's my mistake. I gave you a real word. <laughs> then I already got a spell. No. <laughs> then a y is used the best at the end. So that's my mistake. Sam, I used to keep it to nonsense. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't want you misspelling real words. <laughs> okay, I think we're about to figure this out now. Let's go back. And now we're just going to try and move quickly with it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna make my text box. Well, let's get rid of this. You can also hit undo. Undo is what I use a lot instead of going to the eraser, just as a shortcut for time. Okay, now go ahead and enlarge your print to 48. Uh, if, if you're giving me remote control, then you have to do it. So go I under, have to look. yeah, go under the color button, click down and It'll, you'll see like a font. Uh, we'll go to 36. Okay. Are you ready? I hope so. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're, we're going to actually deal with the U spelling, which is my new concept. Are you ready? I'm going to try. All right. <laughs> we're going to make it fru. It looks like fur you. Final uh, U. Hold on. I don't have, do you, am I having control of your screen? Cause I don't. I'll try it. Yeah. You might've, I might've taken it back. Okay. Yeah. You got to. I thought Steve was going to make a text box. He did. Okay, now it says I can control. Okay. All right, fru looks like for you. Okay, now is UE your best bet for you? It's got to have a tail. Which U has a tail? W. There you go. Now, I want you to now take that fru 
and um, I want you to make it uh, FREP. Great. Good. Now I want you to make it FREP. Good. Now, who can tell me something about E in a one syllable word? Yes, Randy? It should be double E. Yeah, it and doesn't want to split. So go ahead and change that, Melissa. Put the two E's together. It's a silent E, so I don't mind if the child puts it here and then moves it. It's a silent E that doesn't split. That's free. Okay, now make it fripe. Good, good. Now make it fry pew. Fry pew. Just, good. All right. Now I want you to make the best bet for A, fry pay. Good. Now I want the best bet for E, fry pee. Good for you. All right. That's enough for the spelling. So everyone, in summary, I have to set the text box and the size. This is new for me because I use notability. Textbook, text and size, and then give remote control. And that works. Okay. Just for the heck of it, I want you to try and draw, Melissa, and see what happens. Okay. Okay. You have to give, if I'm using control, you have to change it to the draw. Tool. Okay. So get well, rid of I can draw on my own. I can draw with my own annotate. You can what? Okay. I can draw, you can teach the child how to go to the annotate button under view options, depending on what device they're on. It, it can be in a different place, but okay. all my students know how to do it. So, right, so view options. All right. Where's the view? At the very top of your screen. Um, so if you're in full screen, sometimes you may not see it, but it should be a little drop down. Should under say more, that. maybe it says. Uh, yeah, under more, it's under more. You can get to annotate under more. Hmm. Should be on my computer, I'm on a Mac. It says view options at the top, and then I have a drop down menu, and towards the bottom, like third from the bottom, it says annotate. So that his, allows me to draw. Yeah, Melissa, his might look different because he's the host. Like mine has a green bar that says you are viewing Steve um, Tatum's screen and then next to it is view options. Yeah, I don't right. see That's here. where it is, under view right. options. Right. right, but Steve might have something else because he's the host. Yeah, I, I have, on a Mac. I have oh. security, I have new share, I have remote control, I have more under whiteboard. Okay, anyway, uh, go ahead and do Faye. Fape? Faye. Faye. Best bet for A at the end. Good. Now I'll make it FAP. So go ahead and just erase the one. There you go. Uh, put your P there. FAP. FIP. Now, how are you getting rid of the I? I have to go and erase it with using my annotate tools on my computer. All right, you got fit, make it fight. Good, folk. Float. Good, now, what I'm trying to do with this, and, and high school kids like this, and junior high kids like this, I'm trying to get them to easily make these changes in words real fast. And they find it very challenging. So whether you do the draw or whether you do the type, find out what the kid likes. The key thing is they echo the word and make the change, okay? Again, this is concept tracking at for the stop, only for the stoplight sheet. Normally we're using the board. Okay, good. So now we're cooking. We're gonna go to your words and quotes for tracking, for our reading of syllables, okay? So those of you who don't have that, you can go to the chat, I guess. And there's the words and quotes. Okay, I want you to go to the reds page. Okay. I 
shouldn't have downloaded this. It's taking too long. Okay. Now look over. There's two groups of words for reds, aren't there? Now, is there one red page or two red pages? Who's got a page number for the red pages? Yeah. Maggie, there's two pages? 36 and 37 on my And 36 is nonsense words, right? Yes. And 37 is real words, right? Right. We're going to start with the nonsense. So I want you to kind of look those over and play with it before I start in just a minute or less. Are you talking to me specifically? <laughs> Everybody. Well, I will meet. Okay. Okay. Can we add this back to the chat because I got kicked out and it's um, it I'm not able to see it. I got kicked out at one point and so my chat refreshed. Can somebody put it back in the chat again? I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Did somebody do that? All right. So we're going to see mine in just a minute. Okay, here we are. Now, this is tough stuff, the reds. Like IE, most of you are gonna to wanna to say I first, but it's the last walker. Now, IE and EI look a lot alike. They actually have the same first sound of E. So when in doubt, say the E sound for that. So this would be sheaf and shife. This would be sieve, then save. This would be faith, then faith. Wape, mused. Okay. All right. Yell it out. What's this? Everybody. Screw. 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 Good you, Christian. <laughs> the next one. Screw. Screw. There you go. Screw. Next one. Spree. 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 And it also Spree. can have the Spree. sound of Spree. 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 Next one. Cease. Cease. Or Cease. Cease. Next one. Free. 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 Or Price. 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 That's a tough one. Next one. Chase. A. A. And Chase. 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 Grilled. 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 E, Y, and I, E. When in doubt, always do the E sound first. It's the most frequent. Bronte. So this one is Eve. Eve or Shave. 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 Udy. Udy. Udy or Uday. Uday. Break. 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 Break out, you guys. Break. Okay, now, uh -huh. you can time, kids. Again, beat the clock. I used to do syllables a minute. I don't do that anymore. I just do beat the clock. So I would time them and then I'd just give them one time to beat it, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, let's prepare this passage. Go ahead, prepare it yourself so you can read it like you talk. By the way, I do that when a child is rough on a passage. I did it today, reads it rough. I'll say, now read that sentence like you talk, okay? All right, Christian, go ahead and read this. Be not afraid of life. Believe that life is worth living, and your belief will help create the fact. By William James. Do you agree with that, Christian? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. So William James believed by setting that goal and having your mind it, it will actually create that reality. He was a pragmatist. All right. Next one. Seize the day 
and put the least possible trust in tomorrow. Okay. Or, yeah. Horace. All right. You agree with that? Yes. Now, uh, Melissa, are these two inconsistent? Two quotes. Are they con contradicting each other? Um, I don't think so, no. Okay. Randy, what do you think? Um, maybe a little bit because the second one is like, assume that you might not have all of tomorrow. Okay. So you should do as much as you can today. And the other one is life is worth living and there's a more of a future that if you believe this, there's okay. more. All right. How about you, Julietta? What do you think? Oh, you're on mute. Julietta, I think you're on mute. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Uh, about desserts. One of the, I was thinking about desserts. There's okay. like, seize the day and put the least possible trust in tomorrow. That's like, eat dessert first. You may not get dessert tomorrow. And the other <laughs> one was, be not afraid of life. Believe that life is worth living and your belief will help create the fact we all deserve dessert. So right. they kind of went together to me. Right. Well, I think if, I think I if this is creating your, creating your life, you still have to live in the present day. You can't, you can't live in tomorrow. So if you, are you, if you have a belief that life's worth living, it will color your day. Yeah, no. the second one is more of realistic. Yeah. Uh, this is one of my favorite by Bernard Shaw. This is the true joy of life, the being used for a purpose that's recognized by yourself as a right one. Instead of being a feverish, selfish, little clod of ailments and grievances, complaining the world will not devote itself to making you happy. I think that's a great quote. <laughs> uh, here's another James. Our belief at the beginning of a doubtful undertaking is the one thing that ensures the successful outcome of our venture. I love William James. Uh, he's kind of the father of American psychology. Okay. All right. So we did a little reading here, didn't we? So this is it. We can also go to a red poem. Remember words, the poems are next. Okay. Here we got E-I, E-Y, and E-I-G-H, which is on page 51. Okay. Can I ask Maggie? you a question? Yeah. When you, do, when you do the timing of the words, those red words, if they pronounce them wrong, do you stop it or do you let them continue? I stop them, absolutely. Okay. So their first timing will be slow, which is good because then they'll beat it. Okay. Okay. All right, Maggie, can you give, go ahead and read this poem? Okay. Give to receive is the law that we must obey. We deceive ourselves when money is our only prey. Our neighbor must reign, whether in an alley or valley. Gray skies will part when we are kind to others, instead of living in worry. Okay. All right, nice use of the reds. Do you agree with that? Mm -hmm. You do. Um, Though it's not bad to have money, especially these days. <laughs> yeah. That's right. All right. E U E W. Laura, you want to give this a shot? This is one of my favorite. Laura, are you with me? Okay. I don't think she is. Uh, let's try. Jen, go ahead and read Friends. Don't feud and chew your friends anew. A Jewish proverb prevents this stew. If friends are few and you wish they grew, be friendly and kind and you will have a crew. Good. So these poems you can use for dictation, for spelling. You can read them, uh, et cetera, okay? All right, then after this, uh, the key thing with the stoplight sheet is you cover the beginning of the plan quicker so you have more time. 
So you could actually do the sight word sentences for spelling I showed you. Uh, you have time for this. And then you have your reading. Now, again, the Pep Baker book goes well. Did I mention that? Pep Baker? Oh. We're, we are. You mentioned that last week. Yeah. Yeah. Pep Baker, I've actually done a Pep Baker plan. We're making a slight modification of that, basing him in Detroit and making him African American and uh, Asian. His mom's from Hong Kong, his dad's from Detroit, or uh, and his girlfriend is from Argentina. We're making it a bit more multicultural. Uh, but the nice thing about this book, kids like it, but it's tough stuff. It's, um, let me get it up. So this isn't the change version yet. Celeste is working on that. But just to show you, it starts, this is chapter one, it starts with closed. We still see quotes. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Do you see it now? No? Okay, let me do it again. We saw the beginning of it. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so it starts with closed syllables. So this is for a strong start for, preferably high school or high junior high that has a good vocabulary because this gets into it right off the bat. Closed syllables, happen, finish, listen, philosophy, unlock. These are the well, easy words. Yeah, we don't see that. We just see your screen with the picture of the cover. Okay, that's strange. Let me try it again. Yeah, and your desktop, whatever is on there. It's, it's not opening. So you don't, do you see chapter one? No, we see Pep Baker F. The pumpkins, the whole, the, the, the jack-o'-lanterns on the cover. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Let's get this. Oh, you're, uh, you, you just clicked on the cover. You need the story. Uh, I think this is the story and I'm seeing the whole thing, but we'll check again. Stop share. Um, share screen. How now, you see it now? Yes. Great, okay. So this is the opening chapter. So remember start four, knows usually up through diphthongs or our families reading around fourth, fifth grade, at least sixth. Uh, but this is for, you know, pretty sharp junior high, high school. We review closed syllables. Remember in start four, we're going to clean up the consonants, teams, and vowels, or whatever sounds they know. And we're going to introduce the vowel tag. So we're gonna, we'll review closed. We do the vowel tag. You're going to go to our family. My start four is usually all know our family. And many of them know diphthongs. So we do our family and silent E. They'll know that. So this is kind of what a start four will usually know at a minimum. So this is where we're starting. Notice I break things in the phrases for you. I'm expecting you to start phrase reading. So when they read it, I want this. Peppa just finished listening to a lecture in philosophy. Pep loved the cobblestone street. So I'm actually, every one, I break it up into phrases. So I'm anticipating you're starting phrasing in that first couple days, okay? Peppa just finished listening to his lecture. Now, if I just taught phrasing, I would do this. Uh, Jen, I'm gonna give you remote control. Okay, you ready? Sure. Okay, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start and then I'm gonna give you control. We're gonna do some phrasing. Are you ready? Yes, All right, yes. follow my pen. Pep had just finished listening to a lecture in his Western philosophy class. 
This was a night class held at Georgetown University. As a freshman, he had to take upper level classes held at late times. Pep didn't mind the night class. He liked walking on the Georgetown streets at night. Okay, now swing to my cursor. I gotta see okay. where you are. I'm right here. Go ahead and read. Okay. It was a strange October night, perfect for a 10 p.m. walk. The air was crisp, the sky was dark, and the street lights lit up the rolling fog. Pep loved walking up the tree-lined cobblestone streets lined with townhouses of many colors. All right, click on the board. I now want you to swing into the phrases. Are you ready? Oh, yep. Go. Yep. Where we left off? Yeah. He turned his iPod on and listened to Mozart. He was hooked. He was hooked on classic, classical music ever since his late parents played ca classical music while, while he was a child. As he casually walked up the street, he felt strange. It wasn't as if someone was after him. It was more like something unusual was going to happen. That was excellent reading, Jim. Thank you. Okay, now, so notice I moved from swinging to then pointing, and then I let her go, okay? So you know, we, we get in this pretty quick, but again, I said this book gets pretty tough. Let me show you as we move through the book. This is chapter five, if you just glance at some of the words. So this is a real vocab book. This is chapter six. Hey, Steve, as an aside, I don't know if you've used this tool before, but there's a little stop uh, spotlight, little looks like a wand on the top of Zoom. It has a little red dot that you can use like to follow. I use that with some of my students. Okay, now I have heard of that. Okay, now where do I go for that? In your toolbar, you know, like where all your tools are, it should say, it looks like a magic wand and it says spotlight. I believe is what it's called. I can't see it because I'm not the host, but. Okay, now I'm under tools and I see annotate. I see add bookmark, rotate left, right, uh, show inspector. Well, show not under tools, but under your, your big black toolbar at the top where usually your eraser and your draw and all of that is. Okay, gotcha. You see, it looks like a little. Magic wand? Yeah, it should say spotlight, I believe is what it's called. So it's on the black toolbar. Yeah. Okay. It should be at the top of your paper. If you see the little green thing, you sometimes you have to pull it down and it'll appear it's up toward the top of your. Okay. All right. I'll have to look for that later because it's not popping up. Okay. Um, thank you. Sure. Okay. So again, this is for the older kids. You could be doing the same thing with the moonlight tails, sunlight tails, upper level, the higher levels. Once you're at the higher levels of any of the books, you could be doing the phrasing. Now, written response, the two kids I did this with, I only had like a half hour, 40 minutes. No, actually I had an hour, but I had both of them. I would have them do their written response paragraph at night. And when they came back the next day, we'd do cops and correct it. Uh, but, you know, that's motivated kids. Otherwise they'd do it right here. Okay, now. The interesting thing about the stoplight sheet, I'm gonna go back to it and then we'll open for questions. Can you see this backside of the stoplight sheet? Can you see the stoplight sheet, Melissa? Yes. Okay, good. 
All right, so this is the front side. Notice that it tells you where to go for the concepts. So here, you have the covers as summarized, which are the six syllables. Closed, open, vowel teams, endings, prefixes, our family, silent E. Because you're going to very quickly get into all six syllables. That's called covers. So that's summarized here. Then this tells you that where you get the um, vowel tag and change, you're going to teach vowel tag and change is a concept eight and nine. So after, once you're at this point, you're teaching tag and change. Then when you're teaching our family, it shows you it's a concept 11. And then when you're teaching diphthongs, it shows you can go to concept 12 for the, and there you can get the track, tracking and spelling words. This is 13, 18, and 20. So it tells you what concept to go for the lesson. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now this is a shortcut to the scope and sequence. It's the highlights of the scope and sequence. So you, it basically has you check again. I'm assuming the start four kid wasn't in some sort of isolation and he picked up stuff. So you're checking these things with the consonants, the D, when it's part of the base word, you use E. When it's D and part of a base word, you use ED when added to the base word. This is a summary of all the key consonant and hungry rule. Okay? So you just kind of go right down here if you want to use this as a scope and sequence. This is a kid you're going through very quickly. Okay. Then you have the R family. It tells you the highlights of the R family and then the bully rule. Okay. And uh, then it shows you where you can go for the concept. Okay. Number four and 23. Uh, this is the diphthongs that you could do. And it has the L E R N word rule. Okay. This has the green spellings. Now, in our new approach for teaching the long vowels, the only one here that does them all is A. A, A consonant, A, Y are the best. The others, I just show the long vowel and, cons and um, magic E. However, as I've told you, if your kid's picking up A, A consonant, E real well, you can go through the other vowels, which all follow that same pattern. I, I consonant, E, Y. Oh, so you can move quicker than this approach. Then I have a summary, summary, which is very slick, of the best for the long vowels and the short. So this is a fast approach for a high level kid. Once you know the board and you know the program well, you then will see how to use this. Okay? All right. I'll bully roll. You know, I notice. that oh yeah no i have both for the bully rule i have both the bodyguard rule and the walk away rule listed here so this is really a fast approach a fast scope and sequence along with this you definitely would use the sight word sentences for spelling so you know this is like that freshman in high school who doesn't need the board you're doing a quick review, you're using Pep Baker, you're going through this, and you're really moving. Not for everyone. It's also something you can go to once you're through the program and you're, the kid's done with the board. This is a good way to review. Okay, I think it's time for questions. So let me get out of here. We've got an hour for questions. I'm just going to leave this up. Okay, so anything's fair game. 